Okay, so first of all, Majid, can you tell us more about yourself? Like, uh, where are you from and then where are you right now? Yeah, my name is Majid. My family name is Azizi. I'm from Iran. Currently, I'm in Wuhan. Okay, are you now working in Wuhan? Yes, of course I do. Right, Before so... I was a student, but now uh-huh. I'm working in that's so cool so could you like tell us more about your studying experience in china and then also the reason why you travel all the way from iran to china for study okay. i did my master's degree in walker in computer science and technology the reason i came to china because of the job marketing and the money the chinese government invest in education this too was the main point for me to travel all the way from Iran to China to study and if I have any chance so I will get a job. <clears throat> okay, so uh hello? so you, you hello hello can you hear me? Hello? Hello. Yeah, hello? Hello? Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, yeah I okay. can hear you. Cool, cool, cool. So anyway, you studied your master in China, right? Is it for two years or three years? It's for international students, it's two years. Two years, right. So yeah. how did you find one studying? Year, oh, sorry. One, one year coursework and one year research. Cool, in cool. total, two years. Yeah, it's quite the same with what I experienced, apparently. Anyway, uh, how did you find studying in China so far? What did you gain from being two years as a master student in China? The first thing which I can mention is the lab, which is facilitated by the latest technology. And the second thing, we have the access to the labs mm-hmm. whenever we want. So no restriction for the labs. And the third one, the availability of our teachers, our lectures, they are really useful. Whenever we are in the lab, if we have any problem, so we can contact it through the WeChat or meet them in person or ask them politely to come to the lab and help us for the practical stuff we are doing. This are, attracts me more in China. Great. So you have like a lot of uh, practical opportunities as well with all yeah, that yeah, you exactly. get in the lab. Yeah, yeah. Because yeah. learning only from the theory is never enough, right? Yeah, for computer science, it's not enough. So we need labs to practice what we learn. Right, that's right. Because at the end of the day, if you are working, it's all practical. Yeah, sure, sure. Sure. So anyway, how did you find like uh, living in China, in Wuhan, compared to living in Iran? For me, because I come from, I believe it's the same culture and, and the background of Chinese and Iranian are almost same in terms of culture. So I didn't have any difficulties in terms of culture, food, environment. And to be honest, it wasn't something really new for me. Because before I moved to China, I did a lot of like research about the culture, the food they have the social behavior, all this stuff. So it wasn't really cultural shock for me. But uh, do you enjoy living in China? For sure, right? Yeah, sure, of course. Yeah, yeah, for sure. For sure, because you're working now. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, so is it hard to like find a job after you graduate? It depends. It depends which university you graduate. Which major did you gra- you graduate? For me, it wasn't that difficult because I came from Huajuan. Mm-hmm. So my major was, as I said, computer science computer and science. technology. Yeah, it was quite easy compared to other, like other majors. Mm-hmm. But I've heard these days, there are quite good opportunities for other majors like management, like political science, international relations, like social sciences, except like technology. <clears throat> yeah. Right. 
I think this, this is very interesting because, you know, a lot of uh, students nowadays want to come in China, but they also mm-hmm. are uh, wanting to get more information about the job opportunities after they graduate. Because, you know, studying in China is great, but being able to work in China, yeah. it's like, it's an endless experience. It's such a great experience yeah, for yeah, you, true. right? How long yeah, have you true, been true. working? Uh, almost three years. Almost three years. That's a long time. Yeah, <laughs> almost. Yeah. Next year working? is my uh-huh. fourth year. Next year is your fourth year. Awesome. That's so awesome. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> That's awesome. So uh, anyway, uh, did you work in Chinese company or is it an international company? It's considered as Chinese and international. Oh, I can't awesome. say because they have so many branches in mm-hmm. overseas. So I can't say. But basically, it's a Chinese company. Oh, okay. It's a Chinese company that goes internationally, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. Exactly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Anyway, uh, so what are your future plans? Do you plan to stay in China or, I don't know, go somewhere else again? For now, I would prefer to stay in China. In terms of job marketing, it's more attractive than other countries. Mm-hmm. For now. Okay. So I really wish I you all the best with staying in China. Uh, and then, oh, for your application before, when you studied at Hua Chong University of Science and Technology, uh, mm-hmm. did you use China admissions, right? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Could you I did, like? I did. Could you like uh, describe your experience with, you know, using China uh, admissions? Yeah. For sure. The first thing I can mention, I talked to Richard, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah. He's really honest. He's really responsible. He's working like a professional. Any question I ask, always has an answer for me, like professional answers. The most important part for for me was he's honest in his Mm job. Whatever the student asks if he has the answer, he will respond. Otherwise, he will go and search and look for it and then answer mm-hmm. the question. So this part, I really like it. To be honest in the business is the most important part. Because I know a lot of cases, the agents charge the students like $1,000, $2,000. And after a while, the student, even they don't know what kind of major they're going to study. Is that the major the student wants? Is that the university the student wants or not? They're not honest with the students. So when I applied through China admission, so I was like, I knew who am I dealing with? This guy, Richard, is really honest, like responsible, so I knew. Yeah, thanks a lot for the feedback. Do you have like any suggestions maybe or any tips for students who are considering to study in China or those who are, you know, almost graduating and they're like looking forward to get a job in China? Mm -hmm. For me, if they have to follow the university like advertisement, they have some vacancies on the university website. Mm -hmm. Like WeChat, WeChat groups, like connection is really important here. So if they have more connection, they have more opportunities. If they don't have any connection, they wanna, they are in trouble for finding a job in China. This is what I've realized so far. Yeah, such a good suggestion. So while in China, students must make sure that they make a lot of friends, a lot of connections, yeah, true. not just with international students, but also with Chinese, right? Yeah, true. Yeah, yeah, yeah. True. Uh, how's Wuhan right now? You're in Wuhan, right? Yeah, yeah, I'm in Wuhan. It's okay, better than before. The life is going on, everything is back to normal. So everything is okay now. So you were also joining the, uh, you were also there during the lockdown for a few months. Yeah, of course, of course. How was it? How was it? <laughs> oh my God, it was so scary. We cannot even go out of the building, mm-hmm. out of our room, apartments. 
So, what what can we do? Mm-hmm. So we we came to China, happiness, sadness. So we have to stay with Chinese and China. Right. So we cannot leave the country because of the COVID nineteen. Mm-hmm. So I so I say it and fight. <laughs> It's good to hear that Wuhan is doing a lot better right now, and things are going back mm-hmm. to normal. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's better now. Compare like to two months ago. Mm-hmm. Now it's really good. Oh really? That's great. Yeah, but yeah, but the small businesses are closed. So many small businesses are closed. Okay. I yeah. guess that's because restaurants are done. Restaurants yeah, oh, sorry, are, sorry, sorry. Uh, restaurants are also closed. No, no, the restaurants are not closed, but they don't have customers like before. Oh, okay. Because people are afraid to eat outside. So it kind of like changes the whole behavior. So it's still not the same. Yeah, yeah, yeah. True. Okay. Yeah, but that's everyone sad. Everyone needs to wear mask even now. That's sad to know. Yeah, even at work, so we need to wear masks. We need to wear masks so every we time, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, but it's a lot better right now. And, yeah, it you is, know, it is. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I think it's even better than my own country. Like, <laughs> I'm here in Indonesia and then, you know, like there are a oh, lot of new cases every day still. So. Mm-hmm. And I think, you know, yeah, Wuhan have lesser case than we do here. Maybe, maybe, who knows, <laughs> maybe. Okay. So, yeah, I wish you all the best. And then I wish you also stay safe and stay healthy with this well, thank whole you so COVID-19 much. situation. Because everything is just so unpredictable. Thank you so much, you too. Yeah, you too. wear masks and stay safe always. Well, thank you so much. Mm-hmm. Sorry if the voice is not that that clear or maybe the surrounding has some noise. No, it's okay. It's okay, my dude. Don't worry about it. We're, I'm so glad uh, for you like spending time for the interview with me today. Oh, it's okay. It's okay. No really? worries. I really as long appreciate as people, it. Yeah, we attract more. You attract more customers, mm-hmm. more students. So I will be happy thank because you, having a, like. Honest agent, it's really difficult to find these days to get the admission and do the things for a student. Thanks a lot. Yeah, we do have a lot of students from Iran, and a lot of them are actually they want to study MBBS, they want to become a doctor. So, yeah. yeah, exactly. Yeah, the only thing they need is a good agent, responsible, and honest agent. Yeah, that's it. I agree. As far as I know. Because like, I think uh, there are some payment issues, for example, with uh, Iranian people. That they cannot, like, mm-hmm. it's quite hard for them to pay and all that. And that's why they need agents. Yeah, yeah, that's why they need people to help them, right? True, true, true. true. Yeah. <laughs> like, we see the number of Iranian people wanting to go to China is like uh, growing up. Yeah, yeah. Oh. Okay. <laughs> I'm sorry, I take a it's lot nice. of your time. No, no, it's okay, it's okay. Yeah, thank you so much. Mm-hmm. Thank you Sorry so much, if I Majid. keep you waiting. No, it's okay, it's, okay. it's no big deal. Thank you so much, Majid. I wish you have a nice no, no day. No problem. Mm-hmm. You too, you too. Have a nice okay. day.